What I've made is an oiler. Well, all that is is just an electrical box with some fittings, and then it's got this. You can either call it a flow controller or a shut off, either way. But uh, it comes down. Well, I don't have to use a brush. And it puts oil on the end of the shaft so that it keeps the, the bit cooled and oiled and all that stuff. So, and as I, as I move this, well the oiler moves with it. So whether I'm doing cross feed or if I'm doing long work, it, the oiler is just going to follow the bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and adjust this thing. I think I've got it pretty much about right, but I mean it takes a little work to get it right, but once you get it set, then you don't have to do nothing. That's the nice part about it. Okay, you can see it's working its way right on the end of the shaft. The thing about it is it's going to keep the end of the shaft oiled. It's going to, it's going to be able to, to uh, keep it enough oil going all the way across. It's going to, no matter where the bit is, it's going to stay right there with it. That's it. Now on top of this thing, let me go ahead and shut it off. Now on top of this thing, I've just got the cover, but I've turned it over. And I've got the oil in there. But the reason I have this cover on there, in case there's ever a spark or something, I mean, this stuff takes a lot of heat to get it started, but you sure don't want to take any kind of a chance. And then under it, under here, got just a small catch where it catches all the oil. And then when it gets full, I just pour it back into the, uh, I just pour it back into there through a, either cheesecloth or a rag or something so I don't get all the shavings in there. Most of the shavings are going to stay in the bottom anyway. If I had an old magnet or something I'd probably just throw it in there but I'm sure that's not going to work. Anyway, well now you kind of got an idea on, on maybe doing something like that for yourself. Also, I'm going to do the same thing with my mill. I'm going to mount me one over there and uh, it'll go on the it'll go on the table somewhere. So as I'm moving the table, or no, that's not going to work because as I move the table, then the oil is going to go away from the bit. So it's got to be mounted on the stand. So I'll probably put mount it back there in the back somewhere. So we keep it right on the right on the end mill itself, end mill drill bit, whatever. I've already got my drain hooked up. It's just going to go down into a some kind of a gallon or half gallon pan with a lid on it. There again, don't want to start any fires with a spark or anything. Then when it gets full, I'm just going to dump it back into the, the pan again, the upper one. <laughs> 